So in this video, I'm going to very quickly run through how you adjust the sensitivity of the light sensor. Now, there are actually two ways of doing this. Um, the first way is by going into the Lux adjustment and uh, playing with the, with the trigger values, I like to call them. That's one way. Actually, my preferred option is to enable the sensor delay function. Now, let me explain what I mean. So the sun um, comes down and goes up very, very quickly. It takes about 15 minutes between sunrise and, and, and actually um, full on uh, 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 sun light, as it were. And conversely, in, in, in the evenings, so it's about 15 minutes straight down. Um, and, you know, if you want to um, play around with more normally the uh, when the door actually closes, you don't have that much granularity um, by just using um, the light sensor. When it gets dark, just close the door. You've got, as I said, maybe 10 minutes you could play with, possibly 15 minutes. But I will show you how you adjust that anyway. My preferred option, however, is to use something called the sensor delay. Now, you can find that in the miscellaneous settings. I will show you how we, how we get access to that. But the point with the sensor delay is that let's say it's six o'clock in the evening and, and that's dusk time, um, normally the door would close. Um, but quite often you might want to delay the actual closing of the door because you might have uh, one or two stragglers, as it were. Um, you might want to delay that um, actual closing by anything up to about half an hour. Now, this is where the sensor delay function comes in because what happens is the sun at six o'clock in the evening, it's at that right time of day um, to trigger the, the door close. But by enabling the sensor delay, it gives you the option to delay the physical closing of that door by anything up to 60 minutes. That is always gonna be my preferred option because more normally when it comes to adjusting the light sensors, it's about the closing function. But first up, let's uh, look at how you adjust the, uh, uh, the, the sensitivity in the Lux adjustment menu. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna liven up the, uh, the chicken guard and you see it's uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, middle button just once and we're not going to be going into the setup wizard. Try and avoid using the setup wizard. It's really there um, just to hold your hand the very first time you uh, set the chicken guard up on your coop. And we're going to navigate using the right hand button all the way over until we find Lux adjustment just here. Now we're going to press the middle button to go into the, the 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 menu. Now you see on the left hand side we've got open and close and you've got two numbers 260. So these numbers are um, trigger values that in, in the open case when the sunlight gets to 200 the door will then open conversely when the light value reading gets to 60 uh, then the door will close. Question is what do those values actually represent? So let's talk about closing. Let's say sunset is six o'clock in the evening and um, you want to adjust it a, a little bit. So you'd walk out to uh, the coop, let's say quarter past six, a little bit past sunset, and you wanted to find out what the light level uh, value was, you'll see on the corner here, we've got a little arrow thing. So we're gonna navigate this arrow over towards the read function. Now what this does, when I press this middle button, it will take a snapshot of the light level right now, um, and it will give me that value. Now, let's say it's, well, at the moment, obviously we're in the studio, it's gonna be quite bright. So let me just do this once and you'll see what I mean. The, the screen has gone off and you'll see it's given me a reading of 253. Now, let me do this again. I'm gonna um, try and, and cover up the light sensor. It's always a bit tricky. So it's, I'm pretending that it's dark outside and we're gonna see a different value. Here we go, it's five. So that is the value 
right now, obviously with my hand over it. But if you're outside your coop at quarter past um, six, you're going to have a value between uh, 60, 70, 80. It might be as low as 40. But that is the actual value at that particular point in time. So what you would do, let's just pretend it was um, showing around um, 60 when I when I do that test. And we, we wanted... We wanted to adjust this value. Sadly, we've got this already on 60, but we'll just pretend. Um, so you navigate the arrow towards the close. You press the middle button just once, and then you can press the up or the down to set the value that you have just read in the, uh, the spot reading, as it were. And Obviously, you can do the exact same thing for the open cycle as well. Uh, more normally, as I said, it is all about adjustment in the, in the close cycle. So that's how you adjust this. Just remember, the lower the value, the darker it is, like I illustrated. I had my hand over here, and it was showing a value of 5. The higher the number, um, the lighter it's going to be. So uh, I can illustrate that. The open, we've got it at 200. Let's say we wanted to open the door a little bit later. We would actually increase that number, that 200, to maybe 210 or 220. Something like that. But this is not my preferred option for adjusting um, the, the, the sensitivity because actually what we're generally after is just delaying that, um, that door physical door closing. So let me get out of this menu and we are now going to head over to the sensor delay function and enable that. The first thing you have to do is actually enable it. So to do that, we press the middle button just once. Again, like I said, do not be tempted to use a setup wizard. We are going to navigate all the way over until we get to miscellaneous settings. We're going to press the middle button just once. Uh, we've got multi-time was the first item in this menu. We don't want that. And we don't want to change the, uh, the clock format. What we do want to do is to go into sensor delay. We need to liven it up. So we're going to press the middle button just once. And we can turn it on by pressing the yes. Or we can turn it off by pressing the no. So let's just enable this function. And it will say saved. And take you back to the chicken guard um, home screen with the time. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to delay the closing, let's say by 20 minutes. So what happens is is the, 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 the sun, 6 o'clock, 6.15, um, it's got to dusk, the door is then ready to close because historically we will be using the light sensor, but we want to delay it by, let's call it 30 minutes. So let's go into the uh, close setting we press the middle button just once and you'll see now it says sensor plus zero minutes what that means is that the sensor will activate the door immediately um, at sunset but we want to delay it by 30 minutes so what we're going to do is we're going to increase that number so i can't see that um, it's already on 30 minutes so let's say we want to adjust it to 15 minutes delay. So we're going to take that number down to 15 minutes and we're going to press the middle button. It says saved. So what we've done is it's going to get dark roughly at 6.15 and the door under normal circumstances using the light sensor would close. But we have just um, given um, a 15 minute window for, for, for the little darlings um, to get into the coop. But you can adjust that number by anything up to 60 minutes. If you have any problems, please get hold of us uh, through email, um, telephone call. We are here to help and love to hear from you. Thank you very much.